Hey guys, this is BMB and another tutorial. We will start with the winners list of our giveaway program, so congratulations for all the winners. Do not miss the chance to be the winner of this month too, so all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. Above the gifts, we will select one of the posted comments of this video and we will send to that lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select 4 other comments to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLC PCB and we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Moving to today's project, we will create a weather station based on a Node MCU dev board and an OLED display screen, so let's get started. As always, I start my project with a short description, so as I said, our project is based on a Node MCU dev board, which already includes a Wi-Fi module to connect to the internet in order to receive the weather forecast updates and display it on the OLED screen, which is connected to the Node MCU through I2C communication port. This project is so basic one, no complexity in it, and we start with the Arduino IDE library setup. Make sure that your computer is connected to internet in order to access the online libraries. Once you run the Arduino IDE, move to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries, a new window will appear to show the installed libraries that you have and other libraries that you can download. Make sure that you have downloaded all the three libraries and you can search them by their names. The first library is the OLED display which will facilitate the control of the display screen using the Node MCU board. The second library will help you to have the Node MCU source code. And the third library is the online streaming library since internet data is a bit large data for the Node MCU to interpret. So this library will help to split the internet large data into some small frames. After having the appropriate libraries, you move to the IDE examples and run the weather station demo. As you see here is all the downloaded libraries included in this program. The next step that we need to perform is inserting the Wi-Fi ID and password. Next we move to the Open Weather Map website from where the Node MCU will get the forecast updates. After creating an account in this website, you will have your unique API key, so just copy and pass it in the code demo. What you need next is the location ID, so go back to the Open Weather Map website and select your country. And in the website address toolbar, you will find the desired location ID, so just copy and pass it on your code. The last step now is to upload the code to your Node MCU, and if you still don't know how to use Node MCU boards with Arduino IDE, just check the guide video that we are providing through the link in the description down below. Now the code is working well, but we need to give our project a better appearance so it's time to make it the professional way. I used EasyEDA online platform to prepare this circuit diagram that has all the necessary components for this project and some additional parts like a buzzer for some alarms and some LED outputs. Then I transformed this circuit diagram into a customized PCB design with a cloud shape to suit our project theme. All what we need now is producing this circuit design, so I moved to GLC PCB the best and cheapest PCB producers to get the best PCB manufacturing service. As always, all what you need is simply some clicks to upload the Gerber files of the PCB design and set some manufacturing parameters, then I wait just for 3 days to receive my order.
As you see here, the PCBs are very well produced and this cloud shape will add a better appearance to our project. I used then SolidWorks software to design this socket where we will place the electronic components and then I produced the designed parts through a CNC laser cutting machine. Let's review now the full components list of this project so we will need the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, Node MCU dev board, one OLED display screen, some seal connectors, a mini USB connector, two white LEDs, 100 ohm resistor, a 5 volt DC power adapter, the socket parts, and some screws. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you want to buy the same components as mine. Now everything is ready so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB and to do so we need a soldering iron and a solder core wire. As you can see, using this PCB is so easy due to its very high quality making and without forgetting the levels that will guide you guys while soldering each component because you will find in the top cell layer a level of each component indicating its placement on the board and this way you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. I have soldered each component to its placement about this PCB it's a two-layered PCB, this means that you can use both sides of it to solder your electronic components. Now we have finished the hardware assembly and once we plug in the power supply adapter, the gadget starts display the weather forecast. This project is so easy to make and an amazing one and we recommend it for any maker who try to create his own gadgets but still other improvements to perform in our project in order to make it much more better. That's why I will be waiting for your comments to improve it. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.